So final question for you. If I'm listening and thinking, I need to know more, and I probably need to know more as fast as I can. You mentioned this CISA, you know, shields up, that that's something that's good to look at just to get the general education. But are there some other places you would point people, because I know we've just scratched the surface here, sort of like a where would you start if, if someone wants to learn more? Yeah, so I would definitely go to the CISA.gov website because they also have another part of it that's called Cyber Essentials um, that I think is great. Um, I would ask all of you, there are cybersecurity advisories put out by the FBI. All you got to do is send them a business email address and they will actually do that. The Small Business Administration, for some of the uh, listeners out there that might be part of a smaller company, on their website, they have some great tools uh, that you can use. The last place is also the Cybersecurity Alliance. Um, they have free tools that you can use for uh, smaller companies that I think are great and even some, some larger ones that have some email um, scanning uh, tools and, and filtering and some other things that I think are, are free tools out there that companies can leverage. And then, you know, the, the FBI.gov website also has some great information from the cyber perspective. So I really encourage companies, there, is a, there are a lot of free resources out there. So you don't have to call me or, or any other person, like they're free out there. And I really encourage everyone to leverage and take advantage of those uh, tools that the government is offering. All right, well, Sean, thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us today. Definitely a lot to think about, and I really appreciate you joining me. Thanks for having me, Heather.